Hey 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 guys, Iskal here. Today I'll be showing you how to build an item sorter. Uh, I made a demo here, so this is what we'll be building and this is what you'll have in your base if you want to in around 20 minutes from now. Um, basically we have an input chest over here, we have our items that we have uh, sorted here and we got our output chest over here. Um, if I go ahead and put in some redstone into the system, let's put in 8 redstone. Let's do eight emeralds and let's put in some gold as well into the system. We'll see that the chests here will contain the stuff. So eight redstone goes into there, put in some emeralds, eight emeralds goes into there and gold goes into there. Very nice indeed, uh, very handy to have when you come back from your mining expedition and you need to uh, get your stuff sorted quick enough. Uh, this is stackable, this is customizable. Uh, I chose to have these six items as my um, uh, demo sorting items uh, obviously you could put whatever and you could extend this so you could theoretically sort every item in the game although that room would be pretty big uh, another thing I want to show you before we get started is what happens if I try to sort something that's not in the system so I just put in eight uh, birch saplings there they'll go in they'll travel through and they'll come out to this miscellaneous chest where everything ends up that isn't sortable in our system Right, so let's have a look at the redstone of what we will be building. Uh, and this is really, really simple. Uh, it may look a bit complex uh, if you're not used to redstone at this point, but uh, I'll explain it all and hopefully you'll not only be able to build this, but you'll also understand why it works after we're done with the tutorial. Um, basically, we have our own input chest over here. Uh, items goes into this hopper, into this item tower here and triggers this clock. Um, so uh, a pulse is sent around and a pulse is also sent into the droppers that are placed upwards here shooting the items up to this hopper here and letting them uh, travel through to our first filter which is this one we then got six of these um, all the way over and the item bell continues and goes down here into our output chest or miscellaneous chest for the, th uh, the things that aren't sortable in our system great that's all we will be building now uh, before we start I want to talk a bit about the logic uh, behind comparators because for me um, it's important that you understand why this works and not only that you'll be able to build it uh, hopefully that's appreciated so let's go ahead and put down a hopper just like that and onto that I'll put a comparator um, and I'll drag a redstone line out like that now a comparator next to a container in this case a hopper will read the percentage ingredient or the percentage items hold held by that container so if I go ahead and put in 15 emeralds into this one uh, the first redstone dust line will be powered if I put in another 15 emeralds the second line will be powered uh, now this is um, um, measured of decimals so putting in a third stack or a third 15 stack won't power the, the third one um, so you'd have to work out how many items it requires in order to power the lines and it's different if you have 16 stackable items or 64 stackable items or items that doesn't stack at all they all weigh differently um, for this system we'll be using uh, the 64 stackable items which is uh, the majority of items in this game and uh, uh, we will be the filter will be based off powering this second line here so uh, to do that you need to put in exactly 23 uh, items so if I put in 23 I'm only uh, I'm just powering this block here so if I go ahead and take one out I have 22 I'm only powering this so that's our threshold and that's really really important for this um, for this whole tutorial and for your understanding why this works right so we're going to use that let's uh, break this and go over here this is a good spot I think let's build this thing uh, that, that we have over there so the first thing you want to do is to be uh, to create your first filter now I'm not going to create six filters in this tutorial I'm only going to create uh, one or two to show you how it works so what you want to do is to put a plus sign down like this with a hole in the middle go ahead and fill the upper right uh, corner like that on that put a comparator and go redstone dust redstone dust on uh, into this hole facing this way put a repeater oops a repeater like that facing this block and stick a torch on it 
So, um, I just described the uh, power, uh, how, how a comparator reads of a container, and we're going to use that here. So, we're going to get this line powered, and we're going to get this line powered. When this line gets powered, it's, all, it's also powering this block. This repeater picks that up, uh, strengthens the signal, sends it to this block, and powers this uh, torch off. So, it switches, it turns it off, basically. We're going to use that logic. Um, so, first of all, we need a comparator, uh, uh, sorry, a hopper that this comparator can read off. So, go ahead and plus put a uh, hopper like that. We're going to have it face the comparator. It doesn't really matter um, in, in terms of uh, how it reads it. Uh, it's just the only way, really, we can face it without interfering with the other system here. The next thing you want to do is uh, get a block up there so that you can put another comparator, uh, sorry, hopper down like that facing into that block. So we got a hopper facing the comparator and a hopper facing the other direction. This is going to be our output. So onto that, go ahead and, and put a chest. If you want to use the same design as I used over there, I put the chests like these. Uh, like this and if you want to stack them then uh, remember to put every other uh, trapped and every other normal that way you can stack them otherwise you couldn't stack them very good so at this point this hopper here is frozen it doesn't re uh, allow any items to to enter it um, because of this torch so let me demo that if I put in one uh, gold ingot it's not gonna go down however if I remove this torch immediately it goes down and into the chest. So we're going to use that logic uh, plus the thing I showed you with the comparator to determine if the item is allowed into this chest. Now, um, onto the hopper facing the comparator, that's going to be your filter, uh, filter hopper. Open it up and place um, uh, redstone or any other uh, stackable item that you want to use as your filter item. Um, like this. So you want to have 18 there, 19, 20, 21. Um, for this specific example, let's make a gold filter. What I do is that I put a gold ingot in like that. So this equals 22 items. That only powers this line here. If I put in a 23rd item, as you could see, it just disappears. And that's because if you pay attention to this torch down here, it will blink as you saw, allowing one item to go through and then it will lock this again. Uh, it blinks because this line here gets powered, powering this repeater, this block, this torch, and into the chest. Very good. Hope that was understandable. Uh, now I said that you would use redstone here. Um, again, this is a survival tutorial, uh, survival friendly tutorial, that's why I use redstone. It's easy to obtain. You could use anything else. The only important thing uh, what you use uh, is that you get rid of that item first in your filter otherwise um, if you try to uh, filter something through um, that's that's actually used to block or to take up these spots then this will happen so redstone comes through the gold will disappear next time an item comes through it may be a lapis block maybe whatever and the chest will get, uh, get clogged right so we use redstone here uh, which means that our first filter, our first uh, uh, chest will be containing redstone. So again, just repeat this, put a comparator down like that, go redstone dust, redstone dust, a repeater facing inwards and a uh, torch onto um, the block there. Go ahead and do another dropper facing into that chest and a, sorry, hopper and another hopper facing into the comparator just like that so we've just stacked whatever we did here um, now you may think that this is an issue that the redstone uh, dust is is connecting like this but don't worry um, again the logic here tells us that this line will only ever be powered uh, will only ever have two in signal strength so we'll only ever have this one on and this one on meaning that it will never interfere with this repeater which is the item sorting uh, mechanism so into our first filter using redstone as the um, as the filter item we need to also get rid of all the redstone from the system so again 18 19 20 21 and go ahead and place your 20 uh, second there so this now will send through only redstone um, 
and now you just stack this and if you want your input then um, and go ahead and put an item belt on top of this so put a block down there so that you have something to aim for uh, go hopper 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 like that all the way back to wherever you want to uh, put your input um, chest let's do over here and what we've built here now is basically a feeding belt so if I put in a redstone dust in here it will travel through and since we have a filter for it it will be allowed through here and go into this chest there if I put something in that's not filterable uh, let's say a lapis or some lapis it will go through and end up here and this is eventually where we're gonna put our output chest in very good uh, I hope that made sense um, so the next thing we want to do to prettify this a bit is to put in a item tower here um, where we want to have our input chest um, now a dropper can shoot up to a hopper like that you could also feed into it from the side um, or even from above but uh, we're gonna shoot up the items like that so onto onto the lowest uh, dropper there go ahead and place a hopper put a normal chest on top of it if you use a trap chest here you lock this dropper destroying the uh, clock or making the clock unsynced uh, which is not good um, the next thing you want to build is the clock for this and go ahead and place blocks down like this put a comparator down there repeater there now that repeater will make sure that the signal strength is always full is always 16 once it reaches the repeater which is does immediately so even if I put in one item uh, that's too quick to even even notice if I put in eight items this repeater will make sure that the signal over here is fully uh, powered and we're going to use that to create a clock so you just connect up a line like that creating a clock so the power goes from here into the repeater into the block turns around goes back into the comparator and you you got a clock there clock pulse um, now from this side here we're gonna take power and create uh, uh, a repeater that's facing into the dropper there this repeater will power both droppers uh, I've been talking about this in my previous uh, tutorials as well so the droppers will be shooting up items even this dropper will be shooting up items into this hopper here uh, let's go ahead and reset it put in five gold ingots as you can see it blinks all the items uh, go through the droppers into the belt and I don't believe we installed a gold filter oh maybe we did yeah we did so the gold ends up there okay uh, you want to make sure before you uh, design this um, or close this build off you want to make sure to have an output chest uh, so let's go ahead and place one of those just uh, continue the item belt here as you can see I'm, I'm heading around like this and then uh, let's not remove that block yet let's put down an output chest over here like so and go a hopper down facing downwards like that you want to make sure to have this installed before you run items through the system so that you don't get any clog ups in the belt um, but that you actually have enough space to collect all the things that you don't want to they don't want to filter with this system very good that is pretty much you done um, you can go ahead and hide this redstone behind here just like I had in the demo I'm gonna go ahead and put some flooring in nice iron block floor like so very nice can hide it like this and we're gonna use this stair trick stair is not a full block so placing stairs like that will il illustrate a full block if you look from it uh, from the front but the chests will still be able to be opened very good very cool um, now obviously you'd have to design this a bit put item frames in or whatnot but we got an item filter that filters gold and redstone so just uh, run through the system once and this chest here will receive the redstone um, and this chest here will receive the gold very cool I hope that you understood this I hope that you under, um, 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 appreciated this tutorial and that you liked it if you did uh, don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe to my channel there will be more survival friendly redstone tutorials out there shortly thanks for watching guys have a great day take care bye bye